I'm just gonna give my personal testimony on why I even wanted to film this video. I had my own mental health issues. I've had my own mental health trials and tribulations. And honestly, at the age that I am right now, I'm very thankful for the support that I had around me when those things were happening to me. Um, a little bit about me, just you know, why this topic is very important to me. I actually deal with depression and it's i'm even proud of myself to make this video right now because when i was dealing with things that i was dealing with in high school i didn't see the other side i saw sadness i saw i couldn't make it i saw i'm slow i saw oh everybody's gonna laugh at me because i'm mentally um i have mental issues or i'm have a chemical imbalance in my brain everybody's gonna think i'm just slow and i'm behind and i'm this and i'm that like it took me years to really fully come into myself and I'm still working on my self-love. I'm not sitting here acting perfect because I ain't. I'm still working on how to love myself through my issues. Do you know what I'm saying? And dealing with depression is not easy. Like I had days in school where I just didn't want to get up. I'd literally miss class for the whole semester and not give a damn because I was just depressed and just sunken in my own depression. Like that is real. So I know how depression can get it feels like nobody can hear you're stuck. It's just it's a bad place to be. And it's just, it hurts when you even think about like, damn, I was sitting at home all day. I couldn't do nothing. I wasn't motivated. But because I had my mom and my family, like they really helped me push to get to where I am today. And I'm highly thankful for my support and my friends, like, and the people that I surround myself with now, like everybody just has to be on a positive vibe and just trying to get to the bag. like and just wanting to be mentally happy and mentally sane. Like, so briefly, I'm gonna discuss some of my experiences in high school with dealing ment with mental health. And also, um, I really wasn't gonna share this, but in high school, I had a situation where I had like an episode and I actually was, um, whew, this is kind of hard. Trying to say it is kind of hard, but um, I also, been to a psych ward before a psychiatric ward for mental health because i had a really bad um episode in high school and then i had to switch high schools for a year my senior year just to graduate because i was it was just it was a lot it was sad but i don't kind of i don't want to go too deep but basically i went in there for like a week they evaluated me they gave me medication um First they said it was depression, then they said it was anxiety, then they said it was stress. So I was bouncing from medication to medication to medication to medication to medication until I found what was right for me. Um, over the years, like a lot of people see me now, they're like, wow, Faith, you look so good and you look so healthy. But believe me, where what I've been through most of my life, people, if I tell you today, they're gonna be, they wouldn't even believe that I'm standing here right now talking how i'm talking but by the grace of god i'm here i'm well um i have faced a lot of challenges with mental health but by his grace like i have been able to hold myself down i'm actually graduating from medical assistant um next month on the fifth um i've come a long way but i'm very thankful depression is hard like honestly speaking like if you don't get the right context the right support it's it's hard to out to overcome it but anybody who's dealing with depression one thing i realized that made me learn a big thing was um when i wasn't inconsistent with my medication like you know when they started prescribing me stuff that's when i noticed that a lot of the times when i wanted to get pursue something i would go back down because i wasn't doing my recovery treatment correctly i was like taking it then one time i didn't have insurance it was just a mess like stay consistent on your medication and that's really what has helped me this past year to be where i am today because that medication saved my life like i'm not saying god didn't save my life but god really helps with mental health like there's the reason why there's mental health and there's a reason why we have doctors there's a reason why we have nurses therapists there's so many things that we have resources to that we just don't be using but honestly speaking like do not slip up on your medication. Like if you have to take, if your doctor tells you, you need to take this to deal with your depression, 
and say it doesn't work for you. Find another medication that will work for you. It is not. It is okay to find different medications. Don't overdo it, but at least try two different things. If they're not working for you, just say they'll put you on something else. They're not going to throw you a big old dosage and be like, take a thousand milligrams of melatonin to go to sleep. They don't do that. You tell them what is wrong, you tell them what you need, and they will help you. It's all about telling them the doctor is there to help you. So make sure you are taking your medication. If you get diagnosed with depression, or you deal with depression, or if you deal with a, a mental illness like bipolar, schizophreniform, schizophrenia, like if you deal with those top notches of medicate, like mental health issues, you need to make sure you are taking your medicine. Like people think it's that will be weird if you take medicine but they're really trying to help you the more you don't take your medication the worse you are going to be and that is really real like i'm coming from myself like i'm telling y'all from my own experience so fast forward 10 years later um i have realized that recovery is very important and therapy and taking your medication every day is very important that's the number one thing I wasn't going to tell nobody I was taking medication, but I felt like this is, it might help somebody who's trying to figure out what's wrong with them or why they're always sad, why they're always, you know, hyper or hyper, hypersexual. Like there's a lot of things that mental health can do to you. You might think it's normal, but you really going through something manic. You can be having an episode, like you just never know. So if you having any symptoms, just tell your doctor because they will help you. That's why they are there. I said with my testimony, I dealt with depression and some other things throughout my life. I've also dealt with suicidal thoughts. I've also dealt with that. I've also dealt with suicidal attempts. Like I've dealt with a lot, but I don't walk around and make that the subject of who I am because depression does not define me and my other issues do not define me. I am still who I am. I'm faith and I'm thankful and my passion really comes from my own trials and tribulations. My passion really comes from seeing, going into the psych ward and seeing so many people having mental breakdowns and just being sad and trying to commit suicide. Like that shit is real. Like people really be out here running to, ready to off themselves over things that they've been through. And it's really sad. Like I really wish people would not take mental health lightly and really take serious and not laugh at people who are going through things when they tell them or see somebody looking sad like go talk to them they might be literally on the verge of hurting themselves you have to be open-minded and you just have to be aware that people really be going through stuff and y'all can't be judging like a lot of people on social media like if somebody's picture gets posted on the internet i'll be laughing at that like if you see a girl getting beat up on the internet you ain't supposed to laugh about that you're supposed to be concerned like people really need to take mental health serious and that's really why I even wanted to share my testimony and talk about mental health because it's really serious. Like, seriously, like, like I said, take your mental health serious because it can be uncontrollable. Like, honestly, if you don't take your mental health serious, you can literally go from being okay to rock bottom and just all over the place. Like in Africa, for instance, and Ghana specifically, there's people out on the street who've never been evaluated psych psychologically never been prescribed any medication and they're just literally roaming the streets just mad and literally if they had a doctor or a provider or a therapist or a psych evalu like there's so many people in this world who need mental health and it's sad that it's not it's such a stigma on it and i'm tired of that and i can't wait to be an advocate to help mental health because it's seriously crazy um like I was saying, because it can be uncontrollable, if not handled in a timely manner. Going in and out of cycles of depression, anxiety, and also running back and forth to hospital to hospital. And just having, it'll just drop you down to a level of like, disaster, you know. Um, and one thing that I will say, you are not alone. So if you see this video and you feel like it has helped you and you want to reach out, to talk I'm here I'll give. I'm a living testimony that you can overcome depression by your medication being consistent with your mental health with your mental health checking in with your close support group whether it be your mom your dad your grandma your auntie your sister your friend your close relative checking in with your close support group and even your community health services um so yeah you guys like I said these are a couple of tips that I have for you 
as somebody who dealt who has dealt with depression and still kind of deals with it but now i have managed it to the point where i don't have severe depression i'm literally like right here with it it used to be all the way down here like let me just go to the floor it used to be down down but now i'm like at a stable mindset i'm stable i'm able to wake up every day some days i do get tired but other than that i'm okay so if i can make through make it through a series of issues with mental health i know you guys can do it too so if you need any help if you need some resources you know comment below and i'll help you guys out so thank y'all so much for watching this is just a little bit about me um i hope everybody has a wonderful evening uh, if you want more talks about mental health you know you can write it in the, this video below and i'll do a part two of this video i am not a doctor i'm not a clinical therapist i'm just telling you my experiences what i learned and some of the tips that i got off of google that could possibly help you or somebody that you know so thank you so much for watching don't forget to share this video um to anyone who needs to hear it i hope my testimony will help somebody else and don't forget to like comment subscribe thank y'all so much for watching we out of here